Look, all the big comedians have done it. Eddie Murphy did it. Martin's done it. Marlon Wayans has done it. What like, y'all talking about? Sleeping with white women? <laughs> no, wear a dress. Like, put on a dress to perform. That's hella suspect. I'm not doing it. $50 million on the line. $50 million, I'll wear a dress and sing like Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in that bitch like that. To hear, man, you're a comedian. You know, I know you got certain feelings towards, you know, dudes out there cross dressing just to get on, get some camera time. So, like, tell us why you so opposed to it. You do anything for a laugh? Like, what's to stop you from sucking a dick? I'm <laughs> like, hey, hey, guys, huh? Funny, right? Oh, it's on my face. It burns. Like, I don't oh. think you can compare the two extremes. Like, you if you know? if you are a, a person who's like into the art and the talent of being a comedian, being on camera, entertaining people, it's kind of just like what's funny. It's funny. It's insulting to the craft to me. Now, now maybe if you actually are that person, because you got you know actual homosexual dudes who are out there who like putting on wigs and makeup and like maybe that's they maybe it's not just their character. That's who they are, but. I feel what you saying, like if you have a straight dude who's just doing that kind of just for the publicity and just for the attention, I don't know if that's the same thing. But how can you not respect somebody as a performer who can get on stage and become somebody that they're not? Isn't that what a performer that's a good is? Point. Like? Your bed is your stage, your bathroom is your stage, you ain't getting on stage and doing it. Sometimes it Name a comic that gets on stage and does that. I'll wait. Okay. Okay. Wait. How does your mother introduce you like this? Is my son? He dresses like a bitch on Instagram. <laughs> That's his job. Right. How do you have your mama go to church and tell a pastor pray for my son because he dresses like a bitch now? Listen, I'm gonna build my shit off talent. All right, you building your you building your thing off of talent right now, but. Your first big movie role that you get, playing a cop, uh, just just like uh, Big Mama's House, and you had to go undercover as a girl, right? Like white chicks, a Big Mama's House, million dollar role. Would you turn it down? Here's the thing, guys. Million dollars is a lot of motherfucking money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Million dollars is way more important than a million likes. A Nutty Professor, for example, the women he played in Nutty Professor, their character were funny, like a grandma that cusses and mumbles to herself, and then a mama that's just holistically praising her, so, ooh, no, ooh, show me, show me, like, that character was funny. Medea is a character that Tyler Perry created, but we get on Tyler Perry all the time for, you know, portraying that image out there, like, oh, a man in drag is the only way you can make money in Hollywood. I feel like Tyler doesn't get the respect because he hasn't established himself as any other character outside of Madea. Like, without Madea, would Tyler Perry be as famous as he is? What if you get that million dollar part that he's talking about, right? right? And they're like, you know what? We know you do all this other stuff, but that's what we see you as. That's your we best part. We got every movie. We, so we gonna pay you even more millions of dollars for like, three more movies. You're gonna be like, nah, cause my brand doesn't fit for that. No. If they want me to continue with their franchise, they're gonna have to do some rewrites to make me as a strong man. So why do y'all think there is such a stigma with black actors about cross-dressing on camera? We're never on camera for real anyway. So it's like, when well, we could get a part, they, they take it and they do it. And then people are like, oh, well you representing us wrong. But if I didn't get the part, y'all be mad at that too. I mean, I, I agree with that, but I also look at it from the other side. It, it, in the smaller light that I play devil's advocate, Robin Williams did it, and Mrs. Doubtfire, right. a whole movie of it. Right. But he established it as a dad, as a male who was trying to see his kids and was forced to do that. This is how far a man will go to this be with Right. Shit. It's not just like, let me put on this wig, right. bad bitch alert. Right. It kind of doesn't matter if it's your first one, your first movie, or if you long down the line of your legends, they still going to, as a black man, if that's what they feel like y'all need to do, that's what they feel like y'all need to do. So you telling me that you're going to say, I don't want this career, I don't want anything because you want me to put on the wig. You really going to do that? First of all, <laughs> I don't like I don't like your tone when I feel like you're addressing like you're me for it. all of black it. men. This is just how I feel about it. It's like with the Cosby Show. When the Cosby Show and a different world was on, black college enrollment was up 80 percent, 80 percent, and the graduation rate. That just goes to show that when we see positive figures doing positive things in a positive light, then we take that. But if you're showing guys in dresses and twerking, like it, anything that's gonna accentuate your ass, I'm I'm <laughs> But that's cause I got hips. Like I got my mom's hips. So I'm like, I'm against anything. Like I don't wear no long t-shirts or nothing, fam. I took my t-shirt in my gym shorts at the gym, fam. I don't want nothing bouncing off my ass. That's just me though. But even when Kanye was started wearing the tight jeans, people was like, oh he gay. He dressing like a girl. It's a different now thing. everybody you're not buying no Look at you, you look, you, look. Everything fits you. Those are wear. some slim joggers. Right. Look, look, it's the difference between wearing some slim pants, you know uh, what I'm saying, and then wearing a dress. Now that's, a, that's a big difference. It's not that big of a difference. That's though. a big difference. <laughs> the fuck? Look, 
no. Nah, nah. What about the fact that black men are cross dressed when like that same role maybe could have gone to just a funny black woman? Listen, let me tell you guys. It's hard, it's really hard for a black woman, especially if you're not of a lighter like skin tone or whatever to get on camera, period. And most women in entertainment, you, you look a certain way, like you're pretty, whatever, they expect you to be either dippy, dumb, or you just going down to be do whatever. Like, that's just how it is. Dippy, dumb, dumb or down to do whatever. Yeah, Man. like that's- I like the mouses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm John Scar, and I'd like to thank our special guest. At Lauren the Rosa. And to hear more. <laughs> Make sure you guys go ahead and go follow them. We'll see you guys next time.